we continue our deep dive into triangles and all the things that we can associate with them. They are used a lot nowadays in architecture. And while the Lourdes is not exactly my house, <clears throat> we do have a couple of triangles. They're called California reverse gables that um, decorate our home. So triangles are a big deal. And we're going to learn more about them today in lesson five. <clears throat> so um, what we got to cover today is our weekly plan, which will be two lessons and the quiz. And then next week will be a pretest and a test. So if you've had a good two weeks before this and you did okay on the quiz the other day, better than okay, I hope, um, then after these next two lessons, that will be all the material necessary for an upcoming test, okay? Uh, we'll always begin with review questions. And then the big new stuff is the sum of any two sides of a triangle is always greater than the third. Uh, we'll do a deep dive into isosceles and angles across from the sides that are, or the legs that are equal. And uh, finally, we'll talk about side lengths and angle measurements and a correlation between those. So we're going to do a lot of stop and start right now. Let's begin with this question. Find X. Okay, so these are vertical angles, the ones directly across from each other when we have intersecting lines that form the letter X. So I know that 5X minus 10 is 60. Standard two-stepper here, add 10 to both sides, 5X is 70, dividing by 5, X is 14. Nice, pretty easy question to get our heads relaxed and opened up to math, kind of like a mental stretch for those of you who play sports and you start off with easy stuff to stretch, a little mental stress, stretch here. Let's find X and Y, a little more of a bam, kick it up a notch element on um, vertical angles. Okay, so I guess we'll find X first. And what I notice about the X relationship is that the two angles are adjacent, meaning they're next to each other, they share a side, and they make up a straight line. So that means they're supplementary, adding up to 180. So 3X plus 5 plus X plus 15 is 180. Same side, same operation, that is combining like terms. Um, 4X plus 20 is 180. Minusing the 24, X is 160. Dividing by 4, and I get 40. So we know the X value is 40. Now there's really two ways to find Y. Okay, The first way to find Y is to realize that um, 3 times 40 is 120 plus 5 is 125, which means that 4Y minus 15, this angle at the bottom here, because it's vertical, has to equal 125. Could have also done the same thing, plugging the 40 in for x plus 15, and then gotten y plus 20 equals 55. Okay, adding the 15, 4y is 140, dividing, and I get y is 35. The other way to do it would have been to realize, just like with the x angles, that these two y angles have to add up to 180, because they are adjacent and form a straight line. Linear pair. Um, Combining like terms, 5y plus, 20, plus 5 is 180. Minusing the 5, 5y is 175. Dividing, and I get y is 35. Again, I'll, I'll mention it so often that if you were someone who said, oh, I did it the first way, you got 35. If you said, well, I looked at it a little bit different, and I came up with the second way, also 35. That does not happen in many things in this world. Politics, history, sports but it does in math and that's a really cool thing all right go ahead find x so we can see that these two angles together add up to 90 degrees that is to say they're complementary oh why did i put 180 there <laughs> my my daily this right now 90 90 80 and eight and then i'll take you through it I, I when i was in school and i went to school in new york and we have these things called regents exams which are these big state tests um i think i got below an, a 90 on spanish i think i got like an 87 in spanish but in the real subjects <laughs> i could get in trouble for saying that but in the ones that mattered most to me let's word it that way um history english bio physics chemistry math um, I took 
I, I graduated high school with 32 AP credits. I got 90 or better on every region except Spanish. And I did not get, I never got 100. I just, I always do something stupid. Been doing it my whole life. So again, and as was painfully obvious, and as I said but did not write, these two angles add up to 90 degrees. As given by the rectangle symbol in red there, that means perpendicular, so 90 degrees. So 6x plus 4 plus 4x plus 6 is 90. Combining like terms, 10x plus 10 is 90. Subtracting the 10, 10x is 80. Dividing by 10, and I get x is 8. So caught myself doing something bad. That's why you always look over your work. By the way, I'll give you a quick little funny story about the, the regents and, and being in school. I had this one kid I always competed with by the name of Johnny Riley. Johnny's very smart. Um, he, he wound up, grad, he went to college together and he graduated and uh, designed, did the computer work on the Queen Elizabeth cruise lines. But anyway, Johnny, really smart kid. And he, he, but he was obnoxious sometimes. He was the kind of kid who go up to you at the end of the test and go, ah, I beat you, I beat you, ha, 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 I beat you. So I would never let Johnny beat me on a test because then I had to deal with it and hear it all the time. So I remember when he handed in his regents exam for Spanish, or for social studies, he was right behind me. And he wound up laughing and laughing and laughing like crazy, saying, I beat you. I know I beat you. I knew everything on that test. And I don't remember the exact grades that we got. I don't know if I got a 97, he got a 96, or I got a 98, he got a 97. I don't know what it is, but I remember beating him by a point. <clears throat> and back then, we didn't have scantrons. So when we handed in the answer sheets, I just looked down at Johnny's part one, and the choices were A through D, and he had one of them was an E. So... I knew that I was one question ahead, and that wound up being the difference on the test. All right, here's two parallel lines cut by a transversal. Find X. Stop and start. Okay, so you can look at these and tell that they're alternate exterior angles, or um, they look to me to be uh, close to perpendicular. Um, if we do drag and drop, they end up vertical. So the acute obtuse way is a little tricky here. But if I do drag and drop, they end up vertical to each other. So you know they have to be equal. Subtracting 2x from both sides, x minus 33 is 26. Adding 33, and I get 59. Okay, that one angle is 85. Bind all the other angles. Go ahead. Okay, so um, that's an acute angle, and that means that every single um, acute angle in here is going to equal 85 because it's actually two sets of two parallel lines cut by two, two transversals that are also parallel. That's what those little arrow symbols mean right there. So let's figure out what the angle next to the 85 is, the obtuse angle. And 85 plus what is 180? 85 plus 95. And now what I can do is label all the obtuse angles in the figure. There's all my obtuse angles. They're all 95. All the acute angles are all going to be 85. So this was a really good one for doing it the way where we know all the acute angles are and all the obtuse angles are. The other one was not a good one because like this one, they kind of looked, it was a little difficult to tell what was acute and what was obtuse. And in the other one, it really helped to look at it as, let's do drag and drop and see where they land. That'll establish the relationship. Okay. Next up is the three angles of a triangle can be represented by 2n, 2n plus 8, and n minus 3. And then um, we can say, okay, uh, find n and classify the measure of the angles, the triangle by its angle measures. Okay, so now as we take a look here, to find n, those three angles add up to 180 degrees because they're the three angles of a triangle. Same side, same operation, aka combine like terms. That's 5n plus 5 minus the 5. 5n five is 175 dividing by 5, and I get 35. Now I got to classify the triangle by angle measures. So 
the three angles. Got to figure out what they are. The first one's 2n, so it's 2 times 35, which is 70. Next one's 2n plus 8, which is 70 plus 8 is 78. And then 35 minus 3 is 32. What kind of triangle is this? This is an acute triangle. Okay, 70, 78, and 32 do add up to 180, so I know that I got it correct. All right, so we've done a bunch of review. This is the so far summary of today. If you can think of it as drag and drop, they land on top. If you want to think of it that way, go for it. You can do all acute angles are equal. All obtuse angles are equal. One acute plus one obtuse is 180. And we saw situations where each one had its benefit in terms of working that out. The three angles of a triangle must add up to 180 degrees. And don't forget about vertical angles being congruent and linear pairs being supplementary, adding up to 180 degrees.